but my 10 year plan, but I need to know what to do. I get it, trust me. I am actually not making this video for you. I am making this video for me because I have been reflecting a lot on the fact that I don't know what I want to do in the future. And rather than seeing that as something that is scary, I'm choosing to see it as something bloody exciting. The tea that we are serving today is peace. Uh-huh, peace. Because I want you to feel peace in your future career. Even if, like me, you have no idea what you want to do in the future, that is okay. Peace. So today I went to a talk with one of the founders of Minerva, which is the university that I go to, and she is brilliant. Just to give you an idea of her career trajectory and the kind of woman she is, she worked so many different jobs in her career. She transformed the marketing of Nestle and Lonely Planet, which I don't know if you know what Lonely Planet is, but they're basically these really in-depth travel guides and I would always go to the library and sit and read them and just dream about traveling the world. And when I found out that she basically built their brand, I was, I was fangirling. This woman is a powerhouse. She has kids. She's been married for like 30 years. She's juggled so many careers and I would very much view her as successful. Without a doubt, I see her as self-assured, understanding her values, understanding what she wants out of a career and out of life and how to enjoy life. And I learned a few things in this chat because here's the thing about people that we view as successful. We see them at the end of the road or at least as far ahead of that road as they are now. We see the product of a lifetime of skills building and training and learning and growing and failure. We see those successful people when they found that sweet spot job and our brains love to skip all the difficult stuff before they found that sweet spot. We assume that these people knew exactly what they wanted to do from the start, that they were working towards this career that they're now in. We compare ourselves in this state of uncertainty as a young person to that fit final product. And we get stressed that we can't get to that last point without realizing that there was this whole mess for that person to reach that end point. So of course we have to be a mess. It's literally fine to be a mess. I was so inspired from all this reflection and I'm just gonna talk to you a bit more about her story and then attempt to position us navigating the career world in the current age that we're in, in comparison to all the generations before us. Okay, so this woman, she worked three jobs during university. She had about 10 other jobs post university. And although she had a rough idea of what she wanted to do, there was no obvious common thread. She wasn't working towards one big goal because she didn't really know what she wanted to do. But she had a mindset that was so empowering. She worked at a cleaning company, a data software company, and she'd never had, any, had anything to do with data software. She started really low and she started to work her way up. And then she pivoted and she moved and she kept learning random skills from random industries that eventually when all these skills came together were starting to build her as a working professional. Life is this weird series of luck and serendipity through increasing your surface area for good random events. You increase that surface area by being open-minded to opportunity, to meeting someone here who has a network and one person in that network might be relevant to something you want to do. So I've been reflecting on that talk and applying it to my own life. I do not know what I want to do in the future. I have an idea of the things that I love, the things I like, the things I value, care about, want to impact, but I can't tell you anything specific. And why is that? I think it is because we as a generation are operating on a fixed image of a career that has been created for us by our parents' generation. You study, you choose a sector, you progress through a hierarchy alongside, you get married, you have kids, blah, 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 you set up your life. And then you kind of work there for the next 40 years and you work until retirement and maybe you have one career change, but that's it. You've chosen your sector and you work through it. Guys, this is 2020. Social media, did not exist 10 years ago. The internet is technically still a new concept. We cannot see what this world is gonna look like 
in another 10 years. We are the generation that will pivot more than any other generation before us. We are the age who get to have the adventure of exploring multiple careers as this world changes and grows. We get to learn and experience so much and so many different jobs until we hopefully eventually land into some kind of sweet spot that sticks and we feel valued, we feel like this is serving us and we stay. Or we don't and we also shift and pivot. And we crave something fixed because it is easy. And because our parents' generation had that to go off of, of course they're gonna ask us questions like, what exact career do you want to do in the future? Like, what is your goal? Or like, hey, what is it you do? And of course, there's this whole reputation game of different careers. But like, why? Why can't our careers evolve as we evolve? Just take the job that seems interesting after uni, and then when it's not interesting, do something else that's interesting. And you'll meet people there who give you this new perspective on life, and maybe they'll introduce you to someone else who's interesting, who has a new concept for something else, and you try it and you be open-minded, you, you pivot, you grow, you take the experience you've got in these other careers and you bring them into this new one. Instead of defining our future careers as young people, I propose this. Why don't we define our values? Careers shift, but if you know your values, it doesn't matter what label your job takes. As long as it aligns with those values and as long as it impacts the world in the way that you want to, you found your serendipity. You found your momentary dream job, if you want to call it that. We all have to make money in this world. I know it's not as easy as, oh, just pivot based on your values, whatever. But I genuinely do believe we all have the potential to do a job that we do enjoy, that we feel gives value in the way that we want it to. Qualifications help you get there. Studying, learning, growing, it all helps you get there. Privilege helps you get there. So of course we need some stepping stones to keep our options open. But when it comes to defining a specific thing, when they say that whole the world is your oyster, I really do believe it. There is so much that you can do, so many careers. You just don't, you just don't know that they exist right now. It's like, why stress? Like, I couldn't predict at the age of 10 that in 10 years, I would be making most of my money from talking. What? <laughs> Almost anything you want to learn nowadays, you can learn online. That is a luxury in itself. We're in the age of connection. If you love a company, you can reach out to someone on LinkedIn who works there and provide value to them in some way, hopefully start some kind of conversation, gain a mentor and work your way into that company. This world is just one big human network. We're all linked. There's this whole six degrees of separation thing, right? Like whatever you want to do at that time, you could do it. <laughs> if you're currently working in a job that you absolutely hate, firstly, I know you need to make money. So get that cash, you're doing amazing. But in your free time, start manifesting whatever new, avenue you would like to explore for your own personal growth. Think, what kind of skills do I want to have? And through that, you'll start manifesting a new dream career, a new dream job, which you can pivot into, and that will eventually shape a larger career. Okay, so I hope you're feeling a bit of peace. I don't know, I'm, it's, it's late, I'm just rambling. But if, like me, you don't know what you wanna do, here are a few pieces of advice that this wonderful woman told us. Number one, give yourself options. You do that by doing A-levels, even when they suck, or B-tech, or apprenticeship, that kind of thing. You you study, and you actually try, and you get those grades. You know, you know I ramble on about grades? Get the grades, because they give you options. Number two, do a great job at everything you do. As in, if you work at Sainsbury's, do a good job, actually try, because you're learning so much which you can apply one day. It doesn't feel like it, but it's true. Number three, focus on the work, not the career. Do you like the work you're doing? Are you learning, are you growing through the work? It doesn't matter what the career is called, think about the work. Number four, listen to opportunity and be open-minded. I see it in so many people who get comfortable and will ignore opportunity because it's so much scarier than whatever you've got now. Increase your surface area for good randomness. And five, the people that you meet and the connections you make 
are far more important than the company you work for, like the name of the company. As I said, the world is just one big network of humans. If you've worked here, you've met some interesting people. Those interesting people know interesting people. Use that, keep in contact, gain mentors, treat your mentors like gold dust. And this woman also said at the end of the day, enjoy your life like just enjoy it she quit for a while and did some fun voluntary work just because it was fulfilling my final bit of career piece that i want to give you is don't wish away now by stressing unnecessarily about the future i'm telling that to myself because i just keep overthinking the future and i'm currently trying to decide my major decide my path why am i stressing I'm gonna be such a different person when I graduate in three years, I can feel it. I might as well just keep learning, keep growing, tackle it when I get to it. I need to just hacked out this video script in like 10 minutes, so I'm sorry if I just rambled at you, but I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Have a beautiful rest of your day.